Hi, so welcome back. So now we're at question seven. We're going to be working now on, in the same series, the intermediate rudiments. We'll be transposing. And the other part, we'll be adding the correct time signature and naming a key. So let's start with our transposing. Okay, so question seven is asking the following melody is in the key of B flat major. Transpose the given melody up a major seventh using the correct key signature and then name the new key. All right, so I'm gonna just use this as scrap here. And we're gonna, what we have to do is we have to create this as an interval question, all right? So forget everything, make this an interval question. So they gave you the key. The key is B flat major, all right? So we're gonna write that in this you're going to erase after. This is just for yourself. And we have to make it an interval question. We have to make a major seven. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We land on A. So ask yourself, in the key signature, in the major key of B flat major, do I play an A like that? So in a scale of B flat major, we play battle ends. Remember, we always ask the major scale question. So yes, an A would be played like that, so therefore it is a major seventh. So we know the answer was A major, okay? So now let's bring it to the question. So we're going to draw the treble clef. Let's put the key signature for A major. So it's father, Charles, goes. And then it has, we have to put the time signature, okay? We're making it for A major. Now remember, because this is, uh, B flat major, this is going to be major. If this was a minor, this would have to be a minor. You're not going to make a sad song happy and vice versa, so it has to be the same. Okay, so now we get to the question. A major, we have to go a major seventh up. So this is on a D. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to start on a C, okay, because that's a seventh up from the D. And now we're going to keep it lined up and follow suit with exactly what's going on. So this was stepping up, so we're going to step up here. Okay, and we have to follow stem rules. Step up again, because from here to there it's stepped up. Skip down, so we're going to skip down. Okay, and remember we have to follow stem rules. And don't make the stems too short, the stems are usually an octave long. So from D went to E, so from C, I'm going to go to D. The one after that stepped down. Okay, and again, the same thing. Now we have to make, there was a dot here, and this was a 16th, all right? From D, we went down to C, so we're gonna go down to B. Then we stepped up, okay? Then from here to D to E, we're gonna step up. And then we're gonna, E, it's skipped down. So we are going to go from D, we're gonna skip down. There's your bar line. From C, it's stepped down to B. So from B, I'm going to step down to A. All right, and then you're gonna put your double bar line. Okay, if there was an author's name here, you would put that in. If there was a tempo marking or dynamics, you'd have to put that in. You have to write it exactly. Just You're transposing, but you would be transcribing it, all right, to be exact what's there. So that's question A. Now we're going to go to question B. All right, so now we're going to go come to B part of the question. So I just blew this up to make it a little easier to see, and we just named this B and try to keeping it right underneath. The question is transpose the given melody up an augmented fourth using the correct key signature, name the new key. All right, so again, let's just use this here. We're gonna use it as an interval question first. So it's B flat, all right? They want it up an augmented fourth. So one, two, three, four. So we have to ask the question in B, and they, wanted, they want an augmented fourth, all right? We need to make that interval an augmented fourth. So in the scale of B flat major, would I play an E like that? Okay, so in B flat major, okay, I'm just going to show you here. In B flat major, we would play an E flat. That makes it a perfect fourth. One, two, three, four. 
Now, if it's just on an E, that's already an augmented fourth. Remember, perfects can only go augmented or diminished. So leaving it, let's go back up here, leaving it on E, that's going to be our answer, E major. So an augmented fourth up from B flat major makes it E major. So let's draw our treble clef. Let's put in a key signature for E major. Father, Charles, goes down. And of course, because the question was major that we're transposing from, this is going to be major, and of course it was E major. All right? Now let's go, let's put the time signature in. Remember, we have to write exactly everything we see. So we were on D, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. It's starting here on four, so we're going to start here on G. Okay, because that's a fourth up from the first one. Okay, and now we're going to follow suit. So this was starting here, and then we step up. Okay, stepped up from here to there, so we're going to step up here as well. Then it went down one, two, three, so we're going to go down one, two, three. And let's, again, remind yourself of the stem rolls measure. From D, stepped up to E, so from G, we're going to step up to A. Okay, then stepped down. This was a dot. Always follow exactly what's happening. Step down, step up. Now you can see from these two that I'm following suit. Going up, and now from E, I skip down. So from the A, I'm going to skip to the F. Bar line. From the C, it's step down. So from the F, I'm going to step down. That was a dotted half, and we're going to end it. Now remember in your question, if there is the author's name, you have to write that in. If there's a tempo marking, you have to write it in. It has to be exact when you transpose. Okay, now we're going to do the next question, which is question eight, and that's going to be to name the key and add correct time signatures. All right, so now we're at question eight. For each of the following melodies, name the key and add the correct time signature directly on the music. Okay, so first let's name the key. We see a B flat, so we would say to ourselves F major. Now remember, I'm just writing these in and you can erase that, so this is just how you'd be thinking. Now, but I see an accidental there. So, who's F major related to? You go three half steps down, it's D minor. Now who's the seventh note to D? C sharp. So I would be safer to say that this is D minor only because that seventh is raised. So it's not just an accidental. It would look like it's to the minor key. Sometimes it would end in the key it's in, but not always. So make sure you always check that accidental to see if it is the seventh of the minor. Okay, so we're in D minor. Now we have to put in the time signature. Always take two of something and see what they make. So for instance, two sixteenths made an eighth, and this made an eighth. So those together, made a quarter. So that's one. That would be another quarter. So see what they're making. Two sixteenths made an eighth, and there's an eighth. So they made a quarter. So what do we have? We have one, two, three quarters. And let's see if that works. Two sixteenths make an, made an eighth, so an eighth and an eighth quarter. One, two, three. So we're safe to say it's three fourths. That's a time signature. Okay, next one. It has four sharps. F, C, G, D. While the Charles goes down, so what comes after D? E major. I don't see any accidentals, so we're safe to say that this isn't a key of E major. Now these are triplets, so when we're counting, even though we have to play them, let's not count that one. So what do two quarter notes make? They made a half. That also made a half. That made a half, and there's a half. So what do we have? What do we create? This is a half, by the way. We created two half notes. So always see what you're creating. It's so much easier um, to do the time signature that way. Next one, we see battle ends and down goes. So we see five flats. Second last flat tells us the key we're in. So it's D flat major. I'm writing it here because I see an accidental. Okay, so who's D flat major related to? So one, two, three, so B flat minor. B flat minor. What is the seventh note to B? A. Yes, 
egg counts before beat, so that's the seventh, and it's raised. A flat, we use a natural to raise it, so we are safer to say that this is B flat minor. Now, let's see what we have. Now, usually when you see three of something, we're, you're pretty safe to say that it would be in compound time. Because if you take two of something, see those two sixteenths would only make an eighth. Then what, what do we do with that eighth? We can't just borrow it from that next group. Okay, because it's in groupings of three, and that's we know when we're in compound of time when we see groupings of three. So what do we have? We have three sixteenths. We have one, two, three, obviously they have it there, four, five, six, and there's three sixteenths and eight in a dotted eighth note. Okay, so here is a dotted, there's a thirty second here, so two thirty seconds made a sixteenth. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're safe to say that the time signature is nine sixteenths. Okay, because you see three groupings of three. Okay, the next one. We see one sharp. We know that what comes after F, G, we know that we're in G major. We don't see any accidentals in there, so we're safe to say it's G major. Two of something. Two sixteenths made an eighth. And that makes an eighth. And that makes an eighth. Okay, and that's a dotted quarter. That means there's three eighths in there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. What did we create? Six eighths. Always take two of something and see what it creates. That's that one. Let's take the last one. We have Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Seven sharps. That's our biggest possibility. What comes after B in the alphabet? So C sharp major. Okay, and I don't see any accidental, so I'm safe to say it's in the major. Now let's see what we have. And try to pick a measure that's easier if, if one is more difficult to figure out. So here we have a quarter. Well, two six, always take two of something, two sixteens made an eighth, so an eighth, and an eighth make, that's another quarter, and here's a quarter, and that's another quarter. Just, just keep going, I'm probably safe to say it's four four, but it's a triplet, don't count him, that made a quarter, four sixteens made a quarter, and of course there's two in there. So. We're safe to say that this is for four. All right, and that's the end of question eight, so the next one will be our question nine.